Well, Heidi and Mark, it's not like water's cascading through the neighborhood, but you go in some of the homes along this street, you will see it is causing some massive headaches. Many people say it is just seeping into their homes. The water is, however, it can get in, including cracks in the concrete. A sense of desperation for David and Connie Atkinson. It's just so horrible and it just keeps getting worse. You think you're getting on top of it and then more water just keeps coming in. Their Draper home is in tatters. The bottom level nearly cleared of everything, including carpet, as they try to pump out floodwaters. So we've got one pump running here and then we have another pump back here. Hoses run every which way through the basement, emptying in a downstairs shower. This is how much water we're pulling out constantly. There's a canal behind his house, but Atkinson says that's not the problem. He says rain and melting snow has saturated the ground and underground neighborhood drainage systems aren't working. So we think that maybe there's a blockage that's causing the water back up that's supposed to be draining the water out of, out of all these yards. Instead, it's seeping into homes any way it can find. The water level around the house is up so high that it's coming in through the cracks of the, of the basement. And so we're just continuously pumping water. It's been running all day. Watch what happens when a carpet cleaner just sits over a seemingly dry crack in the basement concrete, an endless stream of water. They're still calculating all the damage. Connie Atkinson runs a quilt making business out of this room. Hundreds of bolts of fabric that were that have gotten wet and may we may lose it all, but uh, we'll find out. The neighborhood has turned out in force. We were there when more showed up to help. Anything you need right now? Yeah, I anything? think we're all right. Our neighborhood is awesome. So many people have shown up. We've basically taken everything out of the basement and it's just here. You've mm -hmm. seen it in the garage. You see it in our dining room. You see it in our front room. You see it in the bedroom. <laughs> And remember, that is just one family's story. One neighbor here estimated that there could be 10 to 15 families in this neighborhood experiencing some kind of flooding. And as Sterling said, more moisture is on the way. Live in Draper, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News.